Hi everyone, it's Caroline. Thank you for joining me today. I'm really excited to spread out my awesome limited supplies and I'm on a picnic table. I'm outside on the porch and um, I'm going to do a quick scan of where I am. This is my view. Um, we actually had a really good view the last few days. The mountains beyond are really um, smoky because of the fires, the wildfires that are going on, but it's still spectacular. And I'm surrounded by beautiful birds, hummingbirds that are just so um, friendly. Anyway, I thought I'd share that with you. That's where I am crafting from today. It's really awesome to be able to craft in this respect. I, I love being able to come outside. So I'm going to do a fun, some kind of a collage. I have some really fun things here that we've been doing. Um, we went to the Royal Gorge yesterday and I have this pamphlet. I do have pictures, but I can't print them off, so I'll have to put these in my, my journal later. And I have some ephemera here from things that we purchased. We went to a souvenir shop in Buena Vista. And then I have some paper and a card. Oh, I have a, I have a fun sticker at, that we went to buy some shoes for my husband. I have no idea what I'm going to do. Take out a few things. I think I'm going to do a, um, a blank page entry. I don't know if I'm going to do one side or two sides. Let's just see where this takes us. I think what I'll do, here comes the wind. <laughs> I think I'll use some of this for the background. Oh, we're having such a fun time exploring and seeing beautiful, beautiful sights. I like these shoes. Um, this was from the shoe store. I'm on a sleepy, bouncy picnic table right at the moment. So this is just a fun artistic thing I love to do when I'm on vacation and it also helps me to keep my put my memories down. It doesn't always work out when we went on our cruise. We just didn't always have the time to I didn't craft every day because we were just so busy. And having fun. I have this piece of um, stained paper that I had made a long time ago and I put it through the printer with this pretty, this was something, I don't even know where I got this. <laughs> I'm going to take off some of the edge here. I'm going to use this flower and I'll use this flower on that side. And then with the scrap it on the edge, try that. I could even use the words, but I think what I'll do, oh, maybe I will. Yeah, I think I will.
This is a fun challenge to do it outside on a bouncy table. <laughs> and the birds, every once in a while, I feel like I'm gonna be dive bombed. I love it, I just think it's so cute. Now I think what I'm gonna do th on this one is, um, I'm just gonna fussy cut it. This is from a needlepoint book. I'll finish fussy cutting that. So I think what I'll do here, I did fussy tear this um, flower from the other page. I'm gonna tear this apart. Because I don't need the whole pamphlet. I think I'll just glue that on here. Let me see if I can maybe bring that down a little bit. I'm just using the left, whatever's left on my, my dauber. I'll put the glue on the edge. And the bottom. And then I'll be able to um, slide things in on the top and the edge and secure it that way. I'm being very distracted right now by the hummingbirds. <laughs> there are no feeders out here, but they're just, uh, they're, they're dining on the wildflowers. So this particular, this book that I created this is a mixed media collage. It's an everything for no reason glue book. Well, if you're ever in Colorado and you have a chance to go to the Royal Gorge Bridge, I highly suggest it. We did the gondola. little piece of scrap fabric that I would like to use. I don't know where. I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. I'm trying to think I'm, I think I'm overthinking it. <laughs> and I was waiting for the wind to die down a little bit. It kind of gusts up here. We are, what are we? 9,000 feet up. Try not to squeak the table too much, but every time I shift, it just, it does make some sounds. <laughs> Found this little scrap and I'm going to put this one I think what I'll do with this flower, this piece, I'm gonna put that up here like that. And the only thing I wanted to do was to use this ephemera that we've collected to document. The only sure thing that I that I had in my head, how it ends up looking is the mystery. And I'm going to have my photos that I have um, 
are going to have mountains in the back, so I don't have to keep that. What I'll do here is I'll do a little bit of tearing to have the flower showing down. I have some circles here still hanging around from my kooky paper that I made a while ago. I will list that above if you're interested to see that. And then I have some little tiny labels, which I think will be fun. And I think because I have this round sticker from Lambs, I think that would be good to go with that. Let's just take it right off there and use it. My dilemma right now is do I use the bright side or the... I think I'll use that side right there. to put something down on there so it doesn't blow away Okay, I think what I'll do is I'll use the sticker to hold that down. And then over here, I'll use this over here and then what it'll, it'll make a pocket. And I can put something in there and write about these two pages and what we did and where we were. And document that. I think it'll go in there. So this will be Little bit of glue there. Then a little bit of glue right here. That'll be a pocket. A tuck spot. I always get those two mixed up. It's a tuck spot. A little bit of modern, a little bit of vintage. <laughs> it doesn't really have a, a theme at all. Just giving a little bit of ink on here. I'll give it a little more grunge. I could have done that before. That would have been a lot easier, but I just thought of it. I do have my water, I have my water brush. Well, I don't have a brown marker or ink. I do have my Distress Oxide, so I'm just putting a little bit on my little card here and then just get some, a little bit of flow. And then I'll be able to give a little more, maybe some inking over here. Of course, you don't have to do this. This is just for just for playing. I mean, I could even go like that. That would be fun. Let's see if I can use some of these little labels up. That would be fun. I can put a label over here. Get some winds picking up here. A 
for the label here. And I can use my other piece of fabric. Actually, this would be a good spot in here to also have, I have a journaling card that I made. Well, I didn't even think it was going to be. I could use that here. Doing it on the fly. Hopefully nothing blows away. Oh, there goes some paper. Oh no, that one's gone. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, just had a big wind gust. I had to go collect some of my little papers that flew away. So I'm going to add on here another little label. Now my labels are all cut and used. And I'm going to use this piece of paper that I had just used my sewing machine around. I added this today and I added this little label. And that's going to be my, um, my journaling spot. I'm going to keep these neutral. It's very windy again and I have this from a letter that I've been harvesting all around. And I have this part left. I'm going to, I think I'm going to take a piece of it. put this over here. I'll use my glue stick for that part. Very random. wondering if I can use this in here as a journaling discover more with less oh my gosh this is perfect because I don't have all my supplies with me I know that's not what they mean but I could use it that way oh that'll be fun and what I wonder I'm going to cut this part off at the bottom. I think that'll make a good journaling card. What I'm doing too is seeing if I can take off this sticky part. And I can. This is a sticker and I'm going to put it on. <laughs> going to put it on here. I'll incorporate that into another on another page for another time. So this is very very shiny and you can't see it. I'm just going to try something out. See if I can write on it. No, that doesn't work. Uh oh, okay, there goes a piece of paper. Happen to have this random piece of yellow lined paper and that will work just perfectly. A little bit left over, that's good. Okay, well that was a good find. So what I'll do here is I can cut off the top and the bottom. So 
Some of my scraps are blowing away, but they're so tiny. I'm, I'm making sure that I don't litter. Some of the tiny little edges, are, they're not doing anything. This is not about pre being precise or being perfect. Look at that, Colorado in the winter. Well, I'm just activating some of the ink on here. A little bit more. There's just a bit more on here and I will do it on Oh, that is perfect. And on the top, I'm going to put a tab up here. Why don't I use this? I think I'll use that and I will staple it. And then it's a tab up here. I like that message. I think I like the way this looks. I don't know if I'm going to do any more on it. Just have to do my journaling. A couple more things I'm going to do. I have these flowers. They're um, stick-ons, stickers. I'm going to add something over here. But I also have this sticker that was on a souvenir package. I'm going to glue that on. And then this will go on. It was on a paper and I tore it off. Then I decided that I wanted to make a, a journaling card out of it because that's part of our part of our stay. That'll be thick enough. First I thought it would be part of this scene, but it's, I think I have enough going on there. So I'll just add it as a card. I think that'll be great. Hmm, I think what I'll do here birds went for lunch, I guess. <laughs> They're back. So I have this piece of paper. I'm going, it's been floating around. It's going to get used today as a little, still have some left. I'm going to put it here as my little tab, tab top. I don't need it that big, that long, so I think I'll take some off and I'll use it over here somewhere just to keep it a little cohesive. Let's put some, put some down here. Okay, well they're not songbirds, but <laughs> I like the, the worn look that the inking does. I have my little punched out, this was an old photo that I punched out and I'm using it. I'm going to use my I don't know why I'm using this. I just feel like I uh, want to do some marks, a little few marks. And I don't have my, 
don't have a sponge, so I'm just going to do it like this. Little dots. A few little dots. I don't really need that. I could do these dots random, but I am using this. It's one of those things where I pick up something and then I have to add it. When I'm done, I'm done. I'm satisfied. If you're not, then keep on going. We can make our dots anywhere you want. A couple more up here. Doesn't really make sense, but that's okay. Thanks everyone for joining me today while I did some memory keeping um, on the picnic table here at our cabin that we're staying at. I used some, uh, I'll take the tags out, but I used um, just a blank section of the For No Reason mixed media art journals and I added some of my line, um, printed line drawings that I don't remember who they're from. I used the um, packaging from the shoes that my husband bought and a sticker that they gave us that was on a card as the background. And then I just added all kinds of little bits and pieces that I have in my bags. Some labels, a scrap piece of fabric. This little sticker here made me, um, or gave me the prompt to use two of my cut out cookie paper circles and I made a tuck spot. And in the tuck spot, I used, again, some scraps that I found in my bag and um, added this other piece of fabric with a staple. And then I did some journaling on there. I used also, I have a, a little couple of stickers that I used on here. And this is also some packaging from um, my husband bought a souvenir t-shirt. I think he bought a few more things than I did, <laughs> which is great because I'm usually the one that does. And then I just added this um, piece of gingham scrap paper. I did some journaling on there. That goes here. So my two journal cards. On this side, I used the other half of the uh, line drawing and the pamphlet from the Royal Gorge where we visited. Wasn't sure how I was going to use it, and then I thought, well, I'm going to use it as a pocket. So I used the rest of where the sticker was on. It was on a card, and I just cut it down, discover more with less, and I thought that would be perfect for here. Um, this was in, Col in Denver that we visited while the kids went to Waterworld. So we went shopping, and then I did some journaling on here with some scrap um, line paper that I had. And that's a journal card. And again, just did some collage. I'm very pleased and I love the way this is going to keep some memories here. I will be probably doing a little bit more as we go, but this is um, this was a great little, well, no, it was a fun session on the picnic table on the porch with the beautiful view, the warm weather. I mean, it's hot and it's gorgeous. I really appreciate you all. Thank you so much. I hope you stay fresh and be adventurous. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.